Hi, this is Lenica from Lens Crafty Life, and this is my first ever fabric card, yay, that I made for Maggie White's challenge. You see, I has uh, a challenge running at the moment, so please uh, check her channel and see if you can still make it in time. Um, you can send it, and she needs to have it before the end of the first week in November. Um, so since this card is going to be sent from the Netherlands where I live, I hope it's going to make it in time. I'm not sure how long it will take. But anyway, this is a card that I made. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, not totally 100% because I really struggled with the glues that I had. So it was a challenge indeed for me. Um, I have two different kinds of hot glue that I used. The first... Um, kind of came through a dried yellowish, which of course I wasn't happy with since there's a lot of lace on this card. The second hot glue dries clear, which is great, but it becomes rock hard, which again is not desirable for a fabric card. The third glue that I tried was indeed a fabric glue, so I thought, yay, this should be the one that works since it's especially made for fabric, but no, it dried yellow again and it came through the lace which was a pain in the backside. <laughs> anyway, so number four glue was my just ordinary, all-purpose, trusty um, glue that I used um, as a last resort. I was quite happy with that. The only thing was it did come through again and even through the, uh, the linen that I used here, it came through a little bit. Fortunately, it's not too bad, so you can't really see it that much but I know and I'm not happy with that so if any of you out there can give me any tips on what glue is best to use especially when you work with lacy fabric transparent fabrics and I would be very very grateful if you could give me the tips and then I hope and pray I can get them here in the Netherlands as well so let me get into my card um I decided to make something different from the other cards um, that she had so far. I think this may very well be the first card that's basically straight up and not like that. I don't know if she's received cards like this in the meantime while I'm doing these videos. But I thought uh, I've seen some lovely, lovely cards that she has received already. I can't compete with those really. But anyway, this is my first try and I'm quite happy with it. And I thought, let's do a different picture. So I stamped this image of a dress form on some linen, a linen background. And I stamped the same image again on the back of this uh, lilac fabric. Now, this fabric actually exists of two layers. So it's a lilac fabric on the back. And this kind of lacy fabric belonged to that fabric. So I, I stamped the same image again on the back of this fabric and then I could cut out the exact form that I needed, the exact shape. Then I put on these tiny, tiny little flowers and I um, hope I can get that. Sorry, my camera is wobbling. Um, so those tiny little flowers I glued on and I put on some flat back tiny little pearls on there. Same here. And then I, I kind of by hand I drew out an oval and cut that out. And put again the exact same little flower trim all the way around that. Then I glued it on my back and the back is made just of a, a plain white piece of felt. I put some of this, it's kind of like a, a netting, it's the material that uh, is used for mosquito nets that you put over your bed against the mosquitoes, obviously. So that was in um, a lilac color as well. I found that in a charity shop where I basically get all my things, or at least most of my things. And I use that, so that's basically over the whole card. So then I put on some of this lace. It's a, the wide lace. It's basically very wide because it goes all the way to the back here because I wanted a nice finish, finish on the edge. So I put two pieces. I wish this camera would sharp up a bit more. And um, so I put a long strip here 
and a long strip here of that lace. Sorry, you can possibly hear my little doggy in the background who sees another doggy outside and is getting all excited. But anyway, then I put another strip on this side and on that side. And again, I glued it all the way here to the back. The only downside of doing it this way, I mean, you get a quite a nice edge, I think, but is that your pocket, so I put, made a pocket, becomes quite narrow because, of course, this is glued on here. So I, on this is the back, so from with the same lace, so you can see how wide the lace is. I glued on another strip here, and this bit is, of course, again, from this side. Then I glued on these fabric flowers in all four corners and put on, again, some flat back pearls, but a size a bit larger than these tiny ones here. Then, because on the left side I tried using the fabric glue, but that Again, that dried, unfortunately dried a bit yellowish, so I decided to put an extra piece of lace left and to the right of the main picture. So I'm quite happy with that, but not so happy with the glues. I didn't think any of the glues was particularly, totally helpful in this project. So please give me some tips on what glues to use with transparent or lacy fabrics. I would be very grateful if you agree with that. Well, Maggie, hi, and I hope you like this card anyway, <laughs> despite all the mistakes. Um, I didn't want to start all over again because I do think it did uh, turn out still quite nice. So I hope you like it and I'll send it off to you uh, like right now. Okay, thanks a lot and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.